Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about consistency levels in Azure Cosmos DB. So, we will first discuss why we have these consistency levels and then we will discuss different consistency levels. And now let's discuss why we have this consistency levels concept. So guys, if you remember, we already discussed geo replication in our last video. And now imagine we have primary region that is East US which is read and write region and we also have secondary region that is South India which is just a read region and now we update the record in East US region and now based on consistency level settings the record it may be immediately updated in our secondary region or it may take a little while for that record to get updated in South India region thus the user who reads data from South India that is secondary region he may or may not see the latest data immediately and now let's discuss different consistency levels so guys before that there is no thumb rule which says when we should use which consistency level it all depends on our app requirement that is how strong consistency level requirement our app has okay and now we have five consistency levels that is strong, bounded staleness, session, consistent prefix and eventual. And guys before we discuss in detail about this consistency level just remember one thing as we are going from left to right that means on left we have high consistency and as we move ahead to the right the consistency level decreases that is on extreme right we have low consistency. And on the other hand, on left side, we have low performance and I guess it's obvious because we have high consistency and because we need to immediately uh, reflect data in our secondary region. That's why on left side, the performance is low. But as we go to the right side, you can see the performance increases. So in a nutshell, when we have this consistency level strong, okay, in that case, we get high consistency, but the lowest performance. And when we have this consistency level eventual, we get high performance but low consistency. And now let's discuss each of this consistency level in detail. So first we have strong consistency and it means data immediately gets updated in secondary region and user always have the latest data when he reads it from the secondary region and of course it will have high consistency but low performance and with strong the price is also high and now let's discuss about bounded staleness so in bounded staleness data gets updated in secondary region after a certain number of writes or after a certain time interval based on what we have configured so for example if we say time duration to 5 minutes and if we read data from secondary region that means the data which we read at most it will be 5 minutes old and another thing is user never sees out of order right and let's try to understand it with an example so let's say we write operations in this order that is first write a then b then c now when we try to read data from secondary region we will either first get a then b and then c or we will get b and then c or we will get c but it will never return first b and then a that means uh, the read it follows the order of right okay and finally uh, this consistency level it has low consistency than strong so it's obvious but then it has better performance now let's discuss about consistency level session here we read the latest committed data but in the same session so what is meant by one session so one session it means one client connection so for example if user a made some changes then if this user tries to read the data from secondary region he will always get the latest data but if some different user b say if he if he tries to read data from secondary region he may still see the old data that means data is consistent only in that specific session from which write was made and finally 
it is a default consistency level and it is the mostly used okay now let's discuss about consistent prefix so guys this consistency level it is same as that of bounded stainless except the condition of number of writes and time interval so this condition of uh, you know data is consistent after number of certain number of writes or data is consistent after certain time interval this condition is not there in consistent prefix okay and this example we have already discussed and finally let's discuss about consistency level eventual so it means eventually data will be updated that is it will be consistent in secondary region but then there is no fixed time when data will be replicated in secondary region and generally it's used in social media apps where you know number of likes or shares that may not be immediately updated in secondary region